Today we're talking all about the Harper Backpack from Mina Bay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews, and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to click the little bell so that you're notified when new videos are posted. Okay, today we're talking all about the Harper from Mina Bay. This is the beautiful full-size Harper. It is available in two sizes, full and midi. I got the full because I tend to carry more. I'm just kind of an overpacker. That's just how I roll. And when I got it in the mail, I packed it up right away and I absolutely love it. If you're new to the brand, let me walk you through a couple of details about the bag. So the bag is top grain leather and it is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Um, this is in the color oat. It is available in other colorways. I'll put them on the screen here. Um, some of the, my favorite features of Mina Bay, regardless of the bag, are their magnets and their hardware. Um, they have really great strong magnets. They have great hardware. And what I mean by that is I love the light gold color and I love that their zippers are so smooth. I have no time for a sticky zipper. I don't know about you. Um, so the materials on the bag are great and I also love their subtle logo. It's right here on the front. It's like foil embossed. All around, their attention to detail is fantastic. Um, going around the outside of the bag, let's take a look at it and then I'm gonna tilt the camera back and show you how I have it all packed up and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it too. So let's do it. So on the front of the bag, right here, you do have a magnetic pocket. If you turn the bag to the side, you have a zippered bottle pocket right here and it's lined with like a neoprene material. On the back of the bag, you have a magnetic pocket that unzips from the bottom and becomes a luggage sleeve. So it's great to travel with. You also have another zippered pocket right here on the back of the bag. On the bottom of the bag, you have four feet that help keep the bag lifted off of the ground and nice and clean. You also have a grab handle up on top, which is rolled. Um, it's very sturdy and easy to hold on to. And then you also have these two D-rings right here on the back that allow you to attach stroller clips to hang it from your stroller. The backpack straps on the bag are also made of leather. I love how classic and beautiful the, uh, the adjuster down here on the bottom. I love that there's not a bunch of like chunky buckles or anything. It's just a really beautiful, um, nice, clean, simple looking strap. Um, and it is also very comfortable. So that is also important to know. Let's go ahead now and jump into how I have it all packed up. All right, let's go ahead and start with the very front of the bag. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a magnetic front pocket and it's a great strong magnet. Um, in this pocket, it does have a key leash, which I normally have my keys attached to, but in this case, I'll show you where they are in just a sec. I also have my wallet. This is a Dagny Dover travel accordion wallet and that fits really nicely in that pocket. And then I have my um, Touchland hand sanitizer. Stuff that I need to grab for quickly, um, I keep right there in front. As we come over to the side of the bag, like I mentioned, you have this neoprene lined bottle pocket. And in here, I just have my daughter's sippy cup. This is a Nook Everlast straw cup. It's one of our absolute favorites. And then on the back of the bag, I love this little back pocket. It is the perfect place for me to put masks. <laughs> because right now this is the state that we live in, right? <laughs> Everyone has to wear masks and so I have my masks, I have my kids masks, three of those, um, and then I also have my AirPods right here um, in case I need to reach for those quickly. This is a great little back pocket. I absolutely love it. All right, right back here is another magnetic pocket. And I am gonna zoom in and show you that the magnets are sewn in and covered, so they're not exposed. It's not a snap. It's more of like an actual magnetic. See that little magnet right there? They're actually covered and they're, it's really, really nice. So in here, I just have some little mini play packs. I was asked recently when and where to find these and you can find them at Walmart, you can find them at Target in the dollar spot. That's where I usually get mine, especially around Valentine's Day. Um, at the bottom down here, you have this zipper, which you can unzip and slip over your luggage and it would be great to use um, while traveling. So that is also a luggage sleeve. 
Also on the back of the bag, as I mentioned, you have these D-rings, which you can use to clip to your stroller. Now let's go ahead and see what I have packed inside. And before I do that, I just want to mention that this little zipper pull brings me so much joy. I know that sounds so silly, but I just love the style that it gives the bag. And they also have something really cool happening with the zipper over on this other side. Let me show you that. So right here, you see the zipper kind of wrap around. It actually snaps into place right there and then can unsnap so that you can open the bag a little bit wider if need be. You can see the other part of the snap right there on the inside. So let's go ahead and open the bag. Okay, let's take a look at what I have all packed inside. There are so many amazing pockets and I cannot wait to show you. So let's go ahead and start with the biggest item first, which is my Ovala water bottle. I have that in an elastic pocket over on the side of the bag. And that water bottle is a 25 ounce insulated bottle. And as I take everything out, I'll show you the pockets once everything's removed. Over in the matching elastic pocket on this side, I have this little case from Herschel, and this is holding all of my medical supplies. So I have my bug bite thing, I have some little dissolvable packets of Tylenol for my older kiddos, Advil for me. Basically the contents of my Me For Kids med kit is in this little pouch from Herschel. The next thing I'll pull out are these little pockets here on top. So right up at the front, you have this little leather trimmed pocket, and in here I have a flat package of Kleenex, and then I also have all of my lip products and a couple of pins, and also my lippy clip that is holding my chapstick. And in this pocket, I have my little sheets of soap in case we need to wash hands while we're out, and then some dental picks. These are great pockets also for masks and things that you need to like reach out and grab quickly. So underneath those two pockets are two more pockets. And in this pocket, I have my little mini Aloha pouch. And this just has a bunch of snacks for my kiddos. So I have goldfish and some bars and stuff. Um, it's a great little size. In the pocket next to it, I have all of my diapering and potty training stuff. So my daughter is two and she's just about completely potty trained. So what we carry for her right now is a wet bag in case for soiled clothing. I have my Mina Bay wipes pouch, a disposable toilet cover, and a pull-up. And all of, oh, and my all over ointment from Tubby Todd. All of that was in that elastic pocket, which you can kind of see a little bit better now. So those two elastic pockets. Across from that, there are two more elastic pockets that you see right here. In this one, I have another hand sanitizer because at this point you cannot have too many. And in the pocket next to that one, which is right here, I just have my little tiny coin pouch that my friend Ashley gave me that I'm obsessed with. It has a little fob on it, which is so cute. Um, and in here I have my mini post-its and trash bags, um, just in case this is all, this is all considered potty training gear. But now that those pockets are empty, you can get a better idea of the elastic pocket situation here. Two right here, two right here, one right there, one right there. Then there is a zippered pocket. I have a lot of just little odds and ends. I have my Tubby Todd Mama hand cream. I have my travel scissors, which match my sweater today conveniently. I've actually used those more than I ever thought I would, um, surprisingly. I have my little pill case, which I really love this, guys. I don't think I've mentioned it before, but I keep like my vitamins and stuff in here. And it comes with a mirror, and then it has um, a way for you to keep your pills with you if you need to. I have my portable charger for my cell phone, and then I have my foldable hairbrush. And all of that was in that zippered pocket in the back. There is another space for stuff in this bag, and it's in this padded laptop sleeve right back here. In this pocket, I have my um, second Mina wipes case, and this just has hand sanitizing wipes in it. And then next to that, I have my little micro Crosby, and I'm using this as kind of like my grab and go bag. I love this little bag. It comes with a crossbody strap and this extra little decorative strap. I usually just toss my masks right in here, put my um, my cards in this, the little card slots, and then my keys are actually in this crossbody because I've been just grabbing it and running into stores with it instead of taking my whole bag. So that's what was in that back pocket. Now what I want to do is kind of scoot the camera back and we'll see if my 15 inch laptop can fit um, in this bag. Let's take a look. I have my laptop here and I'm going to see if I can slip it 
right in. I'm gonna kind of put that over. And I would say it is a really tight fit with a 15 inch laptop. It would probably fit better, um, definitely better a 13 inch, but in a pinch, you could absolutely squeeze it in there and still zip it. So good to know that that still um, is an option. So there you go, that's what that looks like. The last thing I wanted to do was give you a quick color comparison between the dark tan and the oat. This is formerly called nude, I believe. Um, so the oat color is definitely a more neutral and then this is what dark tan looks like right next to it. So I thought I'd share just in case you were looking for a quick comparison on the colors that they offer. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like on the body. Alright guys, so that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comment box down below if you own a style from Mina Bay. If so, what is your favorite? And I'll see all of you guys again in my next one. Bye!